एवरी वन आई एम जानक मोती फर्स्ट इयर पी एच डी स्टूडेंट एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ई एंड वी आर ग्लैड टू हैव विथ दिस डॉक्टर जी एन रत्न हु इज अ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डॉक्टर रत्न प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ आल गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी सो थैंक्स फॉर गिविंग दिस ऑपर्चुनिटी आई एम डॉक्टर रत्न फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग I work in the field of embedded system and then uh, uh, real time systems basically so that is my area of interest uh, we have some questions uh, on the occasion of women's day uh, so let me get started with that fine uh, what does freedom mean to you yeah um just to put the thing that's what i was uh, thinking uh, what to Uh, tell about it uh, because there are different ways of uh, finding it as a freedom basically so one thing is uh, from the house friend or home level uh, if a kid uh, says to mother i have everything why i have to study okay then uh, you know that you have given the freedom but uh, whether to continue or you have to hold on to that so that time you may have to put a end to the thing so that is what we call it as uh, give the freedom wherever it is possible and then hold on to the thing and put a constraint mm -hmm. no you have to come up in life okay and uh, coming from the uh, this thing education point of view all of you know that once uh, it was given a uh, free uh, this thing entrance exam girls can take it in kvpy and gate okay so registration was so much that uh, everybody registered yeah. but when it came to the exam level so only 30 or 40% uh, attendance was there so whether you are going to give that freedom or not one has to look look at it yeah. and coming from the food point of view i'll because uh, what we i call it as a kannada proverb ellarigu ellaru madu the hotte gaagi genu batte gaagi okay so these two i'll relate it food if it is in front of you so so many varieties and other things are there so you say whatever you like it you eat it yeah. then rest of it goes as a waste yes. but you put a constraint whatever you take it you should finish it then you will say that uh, the freedom is a little bit curtailed basically yeah. Yeah. and from the point of view of uh, whatever i said uh, clothes okay so just one example i had to give here in sri shaila there will be abhinava mantapa in that sarvagna will be heading the meeting yeah. there akka mahadevi comes actually then sarvagna asks her see you threw all your clothes everything and she will be covering with her hair complete body mm -hmm. why you are doing this mm -hmm. for that she says not for me i have left everything mm -hmm. but for the others actually they were having a problem mm -hmm. that is the reason why i am covering my body with my hair my own thing mm -hmm. okay so that is what what we say for the clothes thing mm -hmm. so we have the freedom to do whatever but again there should be a constraint as you know earlier days only sarees were there but later on other dress dresses have come mm -hmm. so how we dress up on our own also that is what is important although we have the freedom we should not be misusing that mm -hmm. so these are the examples what i have to give for the freedom awesome. there will be so many but i thought i'll give these things yeah so you want to say that with freedom comes uh, responsibility also and that's have to true exercise the freedom uh, yeah in uh, whatever uh, we think that uh, not completely free yes. but how much we can drag on and then in our own limit what we have to control ourselves okay. yeah okay so um what motivated you to pursue a life in science and engineering okay so i am uh, i finished my puc in 1977 okay so that time you can think of it uh, not much uh, uh, girls were allowed to come into the engineering field or not taking it up yeah it was male dominated mm -hmm. uh, so my uh, thing was i didn't want to take a bsc or ba or bcom okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so i had a little resistance also why do you want to waste one own uh food actually earning uh, property by going as a girl okay yes, yes. i said uh, since i want to try something different field yes. so that is how i took up uh, engineering at that time okay, okay. okay. so uh, that is what what i'll uh, call it as uh, 
which motivated me to try a new yeah. uh, field and now you know a lot of them are there yeah. so that time it was a little uh, resistance was yes. there but uh, still my parents uh, allowed me to as you call it as freedom okay yes. so i can link it that way so i was free to choose whatever field i wanted okay. to okay okay uh, yeah and uh, so as you said uh, you got the freedom to pursue got it somehow it's you have to be given it but uh, you must have faced lot of gender stereotypes uh, throughout your life and career right so can yeah. you talk about it uh, especially in this male uh, dominated field yeah that is true always uh, we have the thing as you can uh, see uh, although all uh, freedom or whatever you take back the thing Uh, you will be seeing uh, rani lakshmi bai uh, rani jansi rani uh, lakshmi bai and then kitur rani chennamma b sarojini na naidu or whatever you take kasturba whatever so you know that in the male dominated how they were able to make their own way okay mm-hmm. so that is what uh, there will be lot of resistances and uh, in uh, whatever work area so far i have not faced anything mm-hmm. okay in the college uh, when uh, there was an uh, interview i think it was the crompton greaves which came for the uh, placement mm-hmm. so they said who are uh, about distinction or something can sit for the uh, written test okay right. that was the only company which came mm-hmm. so that time i went for the thing i was the only one eligible girl candidate basically mm-hmm. when i went they said no it is not for uh, girls mm-hmm. so i was not like i'll put it as uh, sudha murthy to uh, retaliate and then do the thing mm-hmm. so we search for an alternative yes. so that is what one of the thing uh, it has been inculcated in us mm-hmm. if it is not one look for a better one we may uh, I, i need not have to go back now for uh, looking that right. so that way it is uh, almost uh, i should say that uh, here completely supportive there is no no bias or whatever may be the thing we have the as you are talking about freedom to teach freedom to do research and freedom to even i'll say the time management right. basically right. so we have 24 by 7 basically yeah. so we don't have restrictions so wherever you want to have a, a freedom in going early or coming back mm-hmm. so that also is uh, whatever uh, right. is there in the workplace right. that's very yeah. nice yeah uh, so you all like going back to the previous point where you said uh, with freedom comes responsibility you must be you must have to take care of uh, both your career and your uh, life at home that's true with friends so how do you make uh, how do you balance all of it um that uh, it is a very challenging one basically everybody knows the thing you cannot uh, uh, run away from uh, this thing household or whatever mm-hmm. you can uh, think of uh, jansirani lakshmi bai she, she will be carrying her, her son on the back when she was in the battlefield right. also okay right. yeah. so that is how uh, ladies have been brought in or girls have been taught that how to manage both the ends so as you know it is not a, a, a bed of roses for everybody it is that for matter okay. not girl or a boy or uh, whatever you think of it yeah. so uh, one of the thing is uh, you have to see that which priority you have to give it at that moment yeah. so if the home front is uh, more demanding and you have little relaxation at workplace attend to that and then come back yeah. and then the other way round also you know that you need the family support basically mm-hmm. to work at the place and then you may be late hours and other things yeah. so that is how everybody has to adjust yeah. and if both are demanding at the same time yes so that is one of the challenge yes. one has to look at it yeah. so which one gets the priority one has to yeah. forego the other one right. so this is the one uh, how uh, we'll be looking at uh, and then i think even you people will be uh, looking from that angle so that is what i feel that one has to manage how we can balance uh, because we have been taught from the yeah. childhood that how to manage all the friends right, right. Yeah. yeah yeah that was some nice advice thank uh, you thank you for giving your precious time yeah uh, thank you one i want to end with uh, whatever the quote from canada kalitiruvudu sasvi eshtu kaliyabeikadudu sagaradashtu i think i don't know if you know kanada or not yeah 
so whatever i have learnt is like a mustard okay and then whatever i have to learn like a ocean so that one has to keep it in mind then we can come up in life That's that is what the thing is nice quote and i think the, there are similar quotes in many other languages that also. is true that is true so yes. thank you for thank you. Uh, doing this interview thank you thank you for thank you. spending your time thank you thank you, thank you.